So we have a brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road and I'm going to compare it to the 2023 Chevy Colorado ZR2 and then we're going to let you know which one I would buy of these. So the pricing here is, the, is a big surprise to me. The price differences between how these two are tested. I'm going to have a look at the front end, the side, the rear and also the interior and then of course let you know which one I personally would pick. But before we jump in Photoshop let's have a look at this article from Car and Driver where they actually test these two and here you can see both new trucks. I do think they, they look great, both of them look great but this one with this desert something I can't recall the name of the package but when you have this uh, front mounted bar in the front and the rack in the back it just looks like a beast of a machine. This Tacoma has a lot of potential as well to look very very cool. I'm gonna let you know what changes I would like to see on this. So Toyota has changed pretty much every single thing on the new generation Tacoma and it was about time. I mean the old one was selling really well but it was definitely outdated when it comes to technology. And they're starting with a new turbocharged 2.4 liter inline 4 backed by a 6 speed manual or you can have it with an 8 speed automatic transmission. It's cool that you can still have it in a 6 speed manual. However, if you choose that one, you're going to have a little bit less power with 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. If you go with the automatic though, you get the same 278 horsepower as you had in the previous Tacoma. However, the uh, pound-feet goes up to 317 pound-feet of torque. You also have 32-inch BF Goodrich tires, which is up one inch from the previous 31 inches. And if you want to, you can option this with, with an electronically disconnectable front anti-roll bar. The price for this, as it is tested, this red one right here is $47,480. And keep that price in mind when we have a look at the pricing for the ZR2. So moving on to the ZR2, we have a turbocharged 2.7 liter inline four making 310 horsepower, so more power than the Tacoma, but it's also heavier. So the ratio is going to be pretty close here between these two. And you also have 430 pound-feet of torque. You have electronically lockable front and rear differentials. You have 33 inch instead of 32s for the uh, Tacoma, 33 inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. Now the base price for this is $48,295 and that is, five th that is already $5,000 higher than the Toyotas. However, as this one is tested with, with this uh, Desert Boss package, comes out to $61,530 and about $9,000 of that is this Desert Boss package which includes a 40 inch light bar and a dubious bed mounted sport bar, beadlock capable wheels, underbody cameras and a front bumper safari bar with built in fog lights. Now with all that stuff that you get uh, installed from the factory, it sounds like a pretty reasonable price. Now despite the lower step in height, the Tacoma has more ground clearance. You have 11 inches compared to the ZR2's 10.7 inches. Not a huge difference there, but the, the ZR2 also sits overall higher. So it's weird that it doesn't have at least the same ground clearance as the Tacoma. You also have the same infotainment screen in the Tacoma, the 14 inch that you have in the Tundra. And honestly, in this case, this being the smaller truck of course from the Tundra, I don't think that 14 inches look too big for this overall interior. I do think that has to do with all the static horizontal and vertical lines that we have going on here. It makes it feel sort of okay. I'm sort of okay with this interior even though the screen is obviously huge with 14 inches but thankfully we do have a gauge cluster housing here and a beautiful digital gauge cluster as well. Now on the ZR2 they say here a car and driver. I did test the the Chevy Colorado on the Sketch Monkey channel. You can go and check that out. I also tested the Canyon AT4X which has the same powertrain as this and is the top level of the Canyon on the Sketch Monkey channel. If you want to go and check those out of course go over to the Sketch Monkey channel. Now they say here the car, car and driver that the controls are confusing in the ZR2. So the powertrain here the TRD off-road matches the ZR2 0 to 60 6.8 seconds even though it is less powerful it's still lighter than the ZR2 and when it comes to fuel economy this is also a, a pretty big deal here because the TRD off-road wins where with its uh, 19 city 23 highway mpg while the ZR2 has 16 mpg across the board meaning city highway and combined and that is very low for this type of uh, size of truck this is almost like a full size 
uh, truck uh, MPG rating, which is not great. And they say that Chevy returned 14 MPG on their trip in California from Car and Driver. So there's a lot more to read here. And if you want to go and check this out, of course, I'm going to link this full article down in the description so you can make up your own mind. But with that said, let's jump into Photoshop here focus on the designs of these two trucks as i said i do think both of these look absolutely fantastic specific i mean if i just look at the design it's going to be the zr2 colorado because I, I just love the way this looks it looks like a transformer we do have a nice starting point up here which i love when they have a design like this specifically on trucks where it looks more um, functional i would say where you have a line up top where the hood starts and underneath the, this line is where all the graphic details and the entire front and face starts and starts to get defined we also have a single light LED bar in the daytime run lights. And here you can see this bar in the front end as well with the integrated fog lights down low. You have skid plates at the bottom. Yeah, I have to keep in mind though that this costs $62,000 compared to the high 40s of the TRD uh, off-road. And I also love this hood design. It's very nicely sculpted, muscular, looks beefy. I love this bulge that we have in the middle of the hood as well. And pretty much all these chamfers just creates a beautiful looking front end. And this is a design that I think the designers of GM or, or Chevy had a lot of fun designing everything that goes on in the front end of this design. Looking at the Toyota Tacoma, still again, a very beautiful, not, maybe not beautiful, but it still has this rugged feel to it in the front. And I do think the fenders, the fender flares are much beefier on the uh, Tacoma here as well. And they're more glossy and more gloss black than what we have in the ZR2 up here. And again, we have a lot of chamfers going on here. We have a chamfer up top here, going around the, the headlights, cutting into the bumper and giving it uh, a connection to the Tundra design. We also have another chamfer right here, beautifully done. A huge cut into the front end with this black graphics. You have the fog lights integrated here now and still have a beautiful skid plate to protect the underside of this front end. And I think what Toyota has done well here is have a great connection to the big brother, the Tundra, even though this looks styling wise because we have more curvatures, more angles. It looks uh, just by looking at the graphics, you can tell that this is the little brother of the Tundra. We also have in this case, this is optioned with the light bar in the front end. The hood, again, looks beautiful. We still have a bulge in the middle. We also have a couple of bulges here on the sides, creating this more rugged off-road, powerful feel for the front end of the Tundra. Now, moving on to the side view, and this is where I think you can clearly see a difference between the wheel sizes here, because the, the um, ZR2 comes with the 33-inch tires, which I, I would not upgrade this to 35s, not on this mid-size truck. If it was the, the, uh, the Big Brother Silverado, I would definitely have 35s in, on there. But when it's a smaller truck, these 33s look great and they feel like proportionally they just suit the overall volumes of this truck. And what I love about this design that we also have in the GMC Canyon are these lines in the body, just creating some rugged feel and some cutouts, some nice chamfers in the design. We have one line here at the bottom carving out some of this volume. We have a rock slider piece down here on the sides and the beadlock capable wheels in this case with this option. Both of these trucks still have the typical three box design where you have the front box here, second box being this area and then the third box being the bed. Beautiful design here by Chevy and same goes for the Tacoma. The only thing here though, if you look at the tire size, the, the, the 32s here, I do believe these are, these might actually be yeah, this is a TRD off-road, so this should be the 32s. And this is just one inch of difference to the ZR2, but it's still a massive change visually and when it comes to the proportions. So one thing I would change for the Tundra uh, Tacoma is definitely to add some bigger tires on to this design and also have some more off-road, uh, more rugged looking tires for this design as well. These wheels are not beadlock capable. As you can see, we don't have all these... Uh, nuts and bolts going around it but the design overall looks very nice we still have some nice chamfers in here i do like that this line cuts into the body from the very end point of the front end the lower section down here and then cuts through it through the rear axle and that has sort of a connection in line with the bumper design looking nice this feels though still like a more rounded design overall than the zr2 even though it is a beautiful design still However, I do wish that these uh, black pieces, fender flares, went all the way down 
to the bottom of the bodywork here like we have on the ZR2 up here. Now looking at the rear end before we jump in and have a look at the interior and then I'm going to let you know which one I personally would buy. The rear end of the Tacoma, I think this is the winning design over the Chevy ZR2. The Tacoma just looks way better in my opinion than the ZR2 up there. I'm not entirely sure why because we still have some beautiful chamfers in the rear end. This chamfer up here, we have a nice cut in down here at the bottom. These lights look very juicy, thick LEDs here, which I love to see on trucks like this. A nice chamfer going around the graphics. And I do believe that this blacked out Chevy logo is an option for this design. You can see the spare wheel hanging down here and we have an exhaust pipe sticking out on the side. Looking at the Tacoma though, this looks, I think this looks more chiseled and more, maybe even more rugged than the ZR2 and it, I think it has a more modern feel overall to it. With this clamp design that we've seen in the Tundra already, where it feels like the, from a side view, the, the taillights just are clamped on to the rear end and I do like that. Not as big of LEDs that we have in the ZR2, they're not as juicy but they're still pretty thick. We have a nice chamfer up here, this blacked out portion on the top piece, carving out some of this height. I do think that has a big difference on how I perceive these designs. This looks more nimble and more athletic in the rear end and I do think that has to do with these black pieces that then carves out some of this vo white volume that we have of the tailgate itself. TRD Pro stamped into the tailgate itself. Overall, both of these look great, but when it comes to the rear view, I would definitely prefer the uh, Tacoma in this case. Last but not least, definitely not least, we do have these interiors. Now looking at both of these interiors, I really like what both manufacturers are doing here. And this seems to be a thing within the truck segment overall, to still have a lot of physical buttons everywhere across this interior. And we also have a beautiful housing for the gauge cluster. This looks to be soft touch material up here. Then we have another chamfer inside of this. And I do believe that this integration, even though it's smaller for the ZR2, looks better than the integration of the big 14 something inch screen that we have on the Tacoma. This is just a massive, again, a TV that they just planted up top on the dash. But overall, the interior of the Tacoma still looks great. I love that we have the Tacoma, similar to what we have in the Tundra as well, on the passenger side over here. And look down here, we still have physical buttons for all and knobs, for all the important climate control settings. We have a control panel down here. Look at the texture of this thing, the drive modes, adding to this very rugged feel that we have. And I've always been a fan of these uh, gear selectors that Toyota is putting in their trucks these days. I like that way better than this that we have in the ZR2. And again, we still have a beautiful housing again for the gauge cluster here of the Tacoma with the big red start button here. Steering wheels, both of these look great because we still have buttons on the sides. In this case, I still prefer the Tacoma when it comes to the steering wheel. And if the Tacoma had just a maybe an 11 inch uh, infotainment screen, something that went down like this, I would definitely prefer the Tacoma overall in this interior. But I think this is a draw when it comes to just design wise and which one I prefer these because I think both of them are really, really great. Now, which one would I personally buy though? That is a very tough question, but I have to, I, I, this is such a huge difference in price, 15, almost $15,000 between the one car and driver tested that in this case, I would go with the Tacoma, even though I do think the front end design of the ZR2 looks so cool and so muscular and beefy, I would go with the Tacoma and add some options onto that truck because I think if I use that $15,000 to add a little bit bigger wheels and tires, maybe some uh, light bars and some ditch lights on the Tacoma, I think it would be a very, very cool looking truck. And then on top of that, you also have the fuel economy, which is way better in the Tacoma. 